Hey guys, it's me, Brendan, and as most of you know and should know, there has been some protest, and we're going to look at its effect on the travel industry right after this. So, Minneapolis, Minnesota, um, after the death of George Floyd, um, there have been a lot of protests because, now, I really do think it was first degree and not third degree homicide because there are things that say that Mr. Floyd and the cop work together, and protest there has just really gotten out of hand. And the protests, they have been absolutely outrageous. Um, um, the rioters, they just went out and burnt down tons of things. They burnt down a gas station, a Wendy's, a, a lot of things, a foot locker. And then they burnt down the police station, the Minneapolis police station, and um, the bus station in Apple Valley was vandalized. Um, tons and tons more. Target got broken into and were stolen. Things were stolen. But yeah, things have just gotten ridiculous. They have, though, called in the Minnesota National Guard. And that really hasn't helped. As a matter of fact, I think it's only made things worse. Yet, the president did indeed say that the uh, armed forces of the United States are ready to step in at any moment and help. They are just waiting for the governor's approval, and yeah, and Lord knows how long that'll take. <laughs> and yeah, so, yep, if you like this video, like it, share, and subscribe. And to see more videos,